it's sunny but windy and, and kind of cold. Okay, here we go. Here we go. In Abu Temple, of course, it's famous for the, uh, the one statue of all the seated Ramses, which is larger. But right next to it is this temple, which is also incredible. Uh, this one was built for Nevertiti, his love, though he had many wives. She was his favorite. And so he built this temple for her. So you can see her image in the front there, second from the right. And then Ramses, the second all across and it looks as though there was another image of her over here uh, with the uh, horns and the solar disk above his head but unfortunately it's been damaged by erosion. Oh, look at these walls here, how detailed it is. Wow, so here you got about 30 foot ceilings, 25 foot ceilings. So it's on a much larger scale than the other temple. And these pictures tell the story of Ramsey's battles. You know, all the chariots. soldiers fighting. He defeated the uh, Hittites and the Nubians. So I'm just going to do kind of a walk through here and allow you to see everything. Okay, so do a little walk through. Here we go. So there's an outer chamber with all the columns and the giant statues. Then there's a chamber in behind that which we're in right now. Ramses and the Four Gods is pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. The lighting in here adds to the drama of it too, I think. So this is a chamber off the main chamber with a very little ceiling. But the windows are kind of, the, windows, the walls are completely covered in hieroglyphics. And they seem to be depicting Ramses giving offerings to the different gods. Can we, can we guess what some of them are? Some are more obvious. That one looks like a small animal. And something else. This one is papyrus, which is meant to make the papyrus paper out of that they uh, use for the volume, right? Here's perfume. I'm sorry, but that looks like he's giving him a couple of milkshakes, but you know that's not what it is. Okay, 
here he's giving him the key of life. That's another object. The key of life is really important here. of bread perhaps. In between these we see more hieroglyphics once again showing us the key of life. It's an amazing space. Same offering these jars and the four jars usually depict the four jars that they use to store the internal organs for use in the afterlife when someone's mummified. They remove the, the internal organs and they put them in four jars and then they bury it with the mummy. Their heart, their kidneys, their lungs, their liver. These things are all kept, not left with the body. I'm not sure. I think the brain might be broken, but I, I actually I think it's normal. So apparently, you can live in the afterlife without a brain. I don't know. Let's figure that. I think the most impressive thing is these 35 foot tall statues. 